Okay folks, I'm going to tell you a wee hair wing pattern and this one's called the Trivera Blue. The hook in the vise is a size 12 Partridge Patriot double. The thread that I'm going to use to start off tying the fly with is uni thread 80 in white and that's just to keep the body as bright as we possibly can. So all we're going to do is just get our thread started behind the eye of the hook, run on a few turns and remove the waist tag. Now the rib and the tag on the fly is going to be an oval silver tinsel size 14 this is the van yard numbering system but this is a small so I'm just going to come in take a length of that pop it underneath the, the hook a couple of turns to tie it in then bring your oval silver tinsel underneath the hook and then I'm just going to run the thread down, tang this in. Now, I'm going to bring the thread down, once I let the thread go it's in line with the point of the hook and then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval silver tinsel and on the fifth turn spring it up and in between the two hooks. Now I'm going to keep this in underneath I'm going to run the thread up the length of the body and I'm going to fold back the excess so we're going to use this for a rib and then just simply tie in down back down to your tag and it secures everything in that just makes for a really strong fly if you do that and I'll just show you that's it all caught in underneath nice and tight fly will last a bit longer now the tail on the fly is golden pheasant tippet now, all I do is just pull the tippet feather in nice and tight, come in with my scissors and just remove the fibers that I think that I need for the feather, for the fly. Now, the length of the tail can be up to yourself, but I'm just going to have it the length of the body over the back. A couple of turns just to tie this in. And then I'm just going to come in and trim this, the length of the body. Now the body itself is going to be Grow Bright Floss number 14. This nice blue colour. So I'm going to tie this in on the way up. Come around with the turn. I'm just going to pull it in the same length as the cut ends of the tippet. And then just going to run the thread up. Just tying this in. Right, I'm just going to whip finish off my uni thread. And with your scissors, just remove the thread. And then we can bring up our glow bright floss. Right, I just like to have it on a bobbin holder. I think it's you can secure the floss in a wee bit extra security but just stronger which makes the fly a bit stronger so just bring the glow bright floss up close touch and turns right the whole way up to there now just leave it there for the second because the head on the fly is black so we're going to finish off with the uni thread either one black so start your thread off at the eye and then also want to do keeping the hold of the waist tag as well spring the thread round Gonna turn in, it just secures it in a wee bit better for you. Right, push your thread out of the way, come in with your scissors and remove the glow bright floss and the excess tag of the black thread. Then we can bring up a rib. You've got four turns of the oval silver tinsel onto the body, up to there. Follow it around with your thread, get one turn in to hold, a couple of turns to secure, and then just come in and remove the excess. Now the wing on the fly is just grey squirrel tail dyed black. So I'm just gonna come in, just take a small pinch, not just enough to create a wing. That's plenty. 
and come in and just trim away the excess. And I'm just going to clean everything out. Because I'm going to stack this. So I'm just going to pop it into the hair stacker tips first. Give us a rattle on my desk. All the tips have lined up for us. So we can take it out of the hair stacker. Then the length of the wing. It's up to you. I'm just going to have it slightly less than the length of the, the tail. So I'm just going to hold it here with my finger and thumb. And with my scissors, just mark it. From the excess over my bin, come in and get the squirrel as close to the shank of the hook as possible. And I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop. Then another, and a couple of tight turns, just to secure in the squirrel at this point. Now, the squirrel has a tendency to pull out. So the best thing to do is just a varnish, or a, in this case I'm just using super glue. I'm going to put a wee lick onto the thread. And then I'm just going to bring it, the thread with the super glue on it down over the cut ends. This will just secure it in. Just make it last a wee bit longer. Stop it from pulling out. Now, there's a throat on the fly. And you can use blue cock haggle. I'm going to use a blue hand. So, I'm just going to take one of these larger fibre feathers from the top. Just take away all the rubbish. Just bring the feathers out from the stem. Then I'm just going to come in and take a couple of pinches. That's all we need. Don't need too much. Right. I'm going to get this right. So it's going to offer it underneath the hook. Then I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop up the way. A couple of tight turns. Now I'm going to spin the vise around. Now I'm happy enough with that. I don't need to spread it out with my nail. I'm just going to come in with my scissors. Nice pair of sharp scissors here. Get away the excess. Now just concentrate and tan this in. Tan down the cut ends of the hand fiber. Bring it back round. Now there's jungle cock on the fly at this stage. And I have two small eyes here. I'm just going to get them lined up in my hand. Now you're just going to see the undersides. That's them there. I'm just going to stroke back any of the fiber just to get myself a tan in point. I'm just going to offer these up to the hook. Just going to come around with a couple of turns just to hold them in place. And then we can maneuver them into the position that we like. I just want to check, I'll be enough of that. I'm just going to hold the two jungle cock eyes, a couple of turns down. Over the stems, I'm going to fold the stems back. And then just bring your thread back up over the stems of the jungle cock. Just tan everything in nice and tight. And you're just building your head up at the same time. Keeping your thread tight and come in. Snip away the stems of the jungle cock. Don't let your thread go, still keep it tight. Right, hold on. Just notice the wee fibre there. So I'm just going to come in and take that away before we whip finish off. Now I haven't let the thread go. I'm going to keep your thread tight at this stage. Come in with your whip finishing tool. And then just you can shape your head up, just a nice tapered shape into your head at the same time. Put your thread nice and tight, come in, trim away the excess. First coat, as always, I like to put on super glue. Just onto the head now, we don't want it running into the, into the hackle fibers or the, the wing at this stage. And then once that's dry, I'll come in a couple of coats of varnish, seal everything up, 
But there you go, guys. So that's the Trevira Blue. Now there's a variant. And I'm going to tie the variant off to this video. And I'll post that up on YouTube as well. But that's a great wee fly for the top dropper. Very good fly in um, smaller sizes, particularly um, on the dropper, like I say. So I'm going to tie a few up. And hopefully you can catch you a few fish.